Hi, so this is your TA, uh, Gwendolyn, and I'm here to review some of the um, projects from Challenge 3. Um, all of them are really amazing. Uh, uh, it looks like people are really getting into color, um, making some really good choices. And I wanted to start with the GIFs uh, that a few people shared. Uh, so this first one is, uh, it's just amazing. Um, I really love how weird and interesting the design is. Um, I think it's a little busy for maybe an actual um, uh, neon light display, uh, but it's it's really creative and uh, exciting. So I, I really love this. Uh, this is my GIF here, uh, Squid King. I really put a lot of effort into um, trying to integrate the neon lights with the background uh, more than anything else, really. And I'm actually really happy that Jeff, uh, John showed us how to make the GIFs, because that's really fun and exciting uh, new skill. And here is uh, John's, or Dr. Brickman's uh, alien um, neon lights. My only comment is that if I were flame throwing an alien, I would probably be looking at it. Um, but uh, also really cool. <laughs> and then we have uh, this really cool gift here, uh, this mermaid. Um, I love it. Uh, I do have to agree with John's uh, frequent criticisms about uh, going off the page, especially in this one right here. Uh, it would have been really easy uh, to uh, make your canvas bigger. Um, just like that. Um, And to have that uh, GIF uh, not cut the tail off like that. Um, I really think that a lot of people who uh, seem scared about increasing the size of their cameras or decreasing it, uh, but remember it's, it's super, super easy um, and not something you're gonna get in trouble for. Um, so let's take a look at some other of these um, challenges. Uh, this is a really incredible one. I really love the uh, the idea behind it. Uh, the way the font wraps around is really cool. And just to really the simplicity with like the four different colors is really great. Um, uh, something I would say about it is that uh, this is a trap I kind of fall into a lot when I'm doing more abstract work as well, that in some places that I would maybe make it more simple. Like here, I think this hand portion is a little overly complicated. It almost makes it look like a robot. Um, with like the little set of robot joints, um, which I don't think was the intention. But I get really, really great um, piece of work here. Uh, oh, we already talked about that. Uh, this one I love. Uh, the colors are really good. I really like the sea scene. Um, I think it's a really great um, a kind of a collage of different sea animals. Um, my two, uh, or three suggestions here would be first, there's a the little kind of um, um, lack of continuity between kind of how partitioned the seahorse is here and the fish is here. And I'd like to see like a little bit more continuity about like how you want to break up the lines to like kind of reflect neon lights or not. Uh, my second um, suggestion would be to be more um, consistent about kind of how the neon lights are affecting the background. So in this coral right here, like the whole coral inside is red. We don't see the same things for these plants over here, or anemones uh, and algae over here. Oh. Uh, so I would like, you know, really think about like how much area do you expect this fluorescent light to cover in the background? Um, and most of the fluorescent lights are gonna be about the same. The purple is gonna be less. So I really like how this purple is done here. And then my third suggestion is that um, if you're making a sign to represent like a business or something, the business name should really be the most noticeable part of the design. And here I assume Commotion of the Ocean, great, great name, is the name of the business. Um, and then it's paired with Bar and Grill. 
And you can see that barn grill is a lot more noticeable than commotion in the ocean. One of the reasons is that barn grill is in this bright, warm yellow, and the commotion is in this blue color. So that's gonna, first of all, like really draw your eyes to this color instead of this. And the second is the commotion in the ocean is in such small, um, kind of less readable font. So I'd really like to see this be a lot bigger and a lot more readable, um, and then kind of switch the color choices around here, just so that we can really like highlight the name of the business. I'm doing something wrong, clearly. Um, so I, I, this one, I love it. Um, it's, I would like how stylistic it is. I think it really captures kind of the essence of like Las Vegas. Um, I love this uh, kind of singing guy here. Uh, the, the width of the lines is different between the this form part in the background, but I think because this is more stylized, um, it's kind of an appropriate choice because we don't want the background to be as kind of to the foreground and noticeable as the as the as the foreground. I do like the, the in and in that vein, like this person's head could be like a little bit. It kind of disappears into the background. Um, having more contrast between the head color and the background color might help. Or how, like again, having these really wide lines here might really kind of make that pop a lot more. Um, I really like uh, the background in this one. It just really, really reminds me of scratch tickets. I think it was a really good choice. And I really like how this person actually has the scratch, uh, the scratch ticket there, your thing here is scratch off. It's really hard to like kind of replicate the texture of the scratch ticket surface. So I think having it scratched off really like um, makes it feel a lot more like an actual scratch ticket. Uh, um, for this one, uh, again, I love the colors. I love the, um, the design of it. I think it's really well integrated. Um, especially this flamingo is just really, really well done. So I like how this uh, inner wing is a different color than the outer flamingo. I think it's a really good choice. Um, some suggestions I'd make is um, that you can see here, if you zoom in really closely, uh, and I think you can see when you're zoomed out as well, uh, that some, in some places the drop shadows are actually interacting with each other. And you can actually put a mask on your drop shadows to stop that from happening. Because um, I think it does create a little bit of confusion. Um, and you can see the same things happening over here. I think the person actually left some residue behind from an earlier layer. Yeah, there's the, some stuff that shouldn't be happening there. Uh, so it's always important maybe to go ahead and you know, clean up some of your old layers that are hanging out. Um, I also, I think that there's a really strong contrast between uh, kind of the skill in the text here and then the text here. I think that um, you could spend a little bit more time on this text um, because otherwise it, it doesn't feel integrated with the rest of it because it's, um, a, like a less, um, a solid, less, uh, uh, I want to say more sloppy, but I don't want to be pejorative. Uh, it just is kind of a different style than the rest of the image. And uh, my last suggestion is that um, I really like the fact that you uh, found this background and put it here, but I'd really like to see this uh, be integrated with the background. I'd love to see um, maybe some color uh, like spread out on the background behind these. Um, I know you have the, the outer glow and the drop shadow happening here, but you could also go like make an extra layer go in and kind of uh, just do a little effect. Just to kind of, it was a really bad example because it's not free at the end. Okay, so it's, again. Just 
just like a little bit of extra color can really um, make it really feel more like these words are actually attached to this building. Uh, because these, the glow from the neon lights is going to extend much further than like any kind of good effect you would get from your drop shadow. And then I would also um, go ahead and kind of darken the background that's over around here. So they were uh, over here like that. I just kind of like um, really give the sense that your your neon lights are giving off light. Um, really just integrate it a lot more there. Uh, otherwise, really, really beautiful piece of work. And then uh, lastly, I'd like to talk about this one. Uh, I love the composition of it. I think it's really, really beautiful. I especially love the fact that it's kind of symmetrical. Um, these uh, circles and these fish are a little symmetrical. Um, but then we have this kind of, uh, these little waves here are not. And I think that's a really great choice. I think it really, um, makes a lot of sense. Um, so some comment I make is that you can see, um, you know, the artist definitely used um, some circular uh, shapes uh, for this here. Um, but then they had trouble kind of getting like a some more straight lines here, you can see it's a little wavy. And this is something that's really easy to do with a pen tool. Uh, as you can see, you can just uh, get some edges there. Uh, you Use this convert tool uh, to um, to uh, make your line bendy, um, and then you can really easily Um, just um, it's gonna work. It needs to not be black. Uh, you can really easily just uh, turn that into an object like that. And you can see that that's uh, really got that smoothness um, that uh, follows the same kind of smoothness that you get in these other lines. So it's a really easy way of kind of getting like more kind of perfectly smooth lines. Um, the other thing I would suggest uh, to this artist is um, that uh, they have uh, done these uh, outer glows here, but the outer glows are white. Um, and uh, it's hard because you have to make a new layer for every different color. Um, but I would suggest uh, doing the outer glows in a color that matches the neon lights. So it more kind of appropriately reflects like how the glow of the neon lights would be. So for example, for the glow in these waves here, um, yeah, you have the white here. If you, um, kind of made them in more, maybe increase the spread a little bit because you're on black background. Yeah, if you kind of made them in a more, um, a color more, reflective of the actual color, but I think that they would look a little bit more uh, neon -y. And then I might like do a little inner glow as well. Um, now these are a little hard to get exactly right. The little, uh, inner glow will also kind of give it more of a neon light appearance. Uh, but again, like really, Beautiful uh, canvas, uh, really great work. Um, everybody did a really great job on these projects.